everybody. It's um, Sunday. Beautiful, clear, clear blue sky. It's uh, probably 32, so it's cold. But it's a gorgeous day today, and I just need, now that I've cleaned up a lot of the storm damage, now I need to get back to work on the garden. So I'm going to, uh, I need to make some more legs for the two remaining um, raised bed garden, raised beds. So I'm salvaging some two by fours from my stash. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, what do we have here? Of course, I got to get rid of the nails. All this wood is from the original house build. A lot of different assorted pieces. That should be enough, hopefully. Okay, that should be enough. Just FYI, this is probably the best system to remove nails. You know, back them out with the hammer and then use this little crowbar. Sometimes they don't want to cooperate. And then just come around and...
Hey folks, it's still ice. <laughs> Okay folks, uh, today's task is to do some more rearranging of the beds and assemble two more 4x8s and uh, yeah, just try to get as much done as I can in this beautiful uh, Carolina skies. All right, this is, uh, this is the area that I tarped right after I middle busted. And you can just see how much water is standing and it's a good thing I have the tarp on because it, you know, prevents that water from getting into the soil. Although I need to get one of the big, you know, silage tarps, but this is the best I can do, and at least uh, it's helping a little bit, keeping that soil dry. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that uh, that four by twelve. I'm going to move it. To here and this was actually my daughter's idea because if I have this 4 by 12 here I can't get to here I can't so I got I'm gonna put a 4 by 8 there so that I have a pathway to both of these corners and that makes a lot of sense so thank you Olivia and then I have two more of these uh, 4 by 8s to build and I'll be done after I put the sides on. And I think I have plenty of siding material left. So, yep, this is that's the task today. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get to uh, the wood pile over there. That's really gonna be the, the hugel culture. Uh, I'll cut those up into one foot rounds and then lay those at the bottom of every single one of these. That's gonna be a big job. I may have to wait till next weekend. We'll see. It's Sunday, so I don't want to kill myself. All right, stand by. Okay, I finished with the frames. I've got uh, four of these frames that I now need to put sides on. Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and take these, all these out. Um, I'm gonna use this puller along with my uh, bucket and chain. I haven't done it that way yet. I'll try, so I'll show you how that goes.
Okay, uh, that looks like it worked pretty well. I'll go ahead and go around and just pull them all up. Got a bunch of them to pull up. And then I'm gonna do a better measurement of the, um, I'll do a better measurement of the uh, raised beds to get it more even. So stay tuned. Well, folks, um, another Sunday came and went, and actually another weekend came and went. At least it was nice this weekend, finally, after the ice storms. Uh, finally, I can start getting some stuff done. Um, I still have to put the sides on these two, and I got two of them over there finished. But, uh, you know, we're, we're making slow but steady progress well i think we'll we'll continue next week uh next friday is my birthday i'll be 59 and uh gotta keep moving moving <laughs> all right talk to you soon um getting a huge uh wood chip delivery so that'll be really useful for the garden and around the walkways and so forth so uh, I'll be meeting him up here in about a half hour or so. Uh, hope, I hope he can get up to the pasture. I think I cleared away enough trees, but there's that one leaner that he may just say, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna go under it. So we'll see, see what he does, but uh, I'm looking forward to this huge chip drop. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hey folks, I just wanted to show you a delivery that I got uh, two days ago. Big pile of, these are actually cedar chips uh, from a arborist. So they haven't been treated. It's just, it's from cedars that came down in the ice storm. And w what's great about the cedars, uh, you know, this is, look how huge this is. <laughs> it's massive massive pile and what I'm going to use these for and they by the way they smell heavenly what I'm going to use these for is for um, to walk on uh, and and mulch uh, because cedar doesn't break down as fast as other uh, other woods so it's mainly going to be for walkways and retarding weed you know, weed suppression, basically. So, yeah, I'm real happy about this. Um, I I uh, signed up for that chip drop. I don't know if you all know, but chipdrop.com is a site that you can register, and it's basically uh, these arborists need to get rid of this stuff or they need to pay a fee to dump it into a landfill. But... Uh, chip drop is supposed to be free um, you can opt in to give them twenty dollars for the for each delivery uh, so that's what I did but I've been waiting for over two months and I haven't received any chip drops and I looked it on the map and it's it basically shows most of the chip drop delivery sites are in the metropolitan area not out here in the country so I'm of the opinion that chip drop is not for folks like me that are out here <laughs> in the sticks because it's just not economical I don't think for them to tart tote it all the way up here so I ended up paying sixty dollars for this it was a completely full truckload so 
I have lots of uses for this, uh, lots of trails I want to build, and especially for the garden. So, all right, uh, it is Saturday the 27th, and my birthday was yesterday. I turned 59. <laughs> it's hardly hard to believe, uh, but I have to finish the uh, remaining two raised beds, and we'll get that done, and then I'll start cutting up some rounds for the hugel culture uh, to fill those beds start filling the beds i'm behind the power curve right now it's almost march and i haven't planted a seed so that's not what i planned i have i uh, am planning tomorrow to plant some seeds in the garage uh, in the seed trays so i'll sh i'll take you along on that journey as well so let's get to it Okay, here we are up on the pasture. It's been raining almost nonstop. And when I say almost, it's only been a day. Uh, day before yesterday, that it was actually a beautiful day. That was Thursday. And uh, you can see this tarp is, is still flooded. It's keeping the rain off somewhat. The in-ground plot here uh, looks like I need to fix that there um, yeah but I just need to finish these two and then what I'll do is I'll measure the uh, distance between I, I want basically four foot paths all the way around so that's what I'll do after this it is a quagmire out here I thought I would just film the last screws that are going in here almost done I got these uh, roofing screws from our local farm supply in Hurdle Mills and uh, these are more higher quality than the ones I get at Home Depot. So I think I know where I'm going to be shopping from now on. The problem is they don't have everything. Like concrete blocks, things like that, they don't have. But they have all the feed and fertilizer and all, everything you would need for a garden. And they're right down the street. All right, last screw. Yay. Okay. Now I'm gonna clean up all these scraps. I'll recycle most of that. And uh, yeah, keep going. First thing I'm gonna do are, is get four feet and line up this corner with that corner and get that one. And then I'll go that way. And then I'll make sure that these are all lined up with, with these. So and then I'll eyeball doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, that's that one. This is in the way, I have to get it out. It's wet, so it's easy to get it out. 
Might as well tear these all up. Just have to wiggle them loose. Maybe. That one's in. Try this one. Yeah. I'm going to work on the other one. Yeah. Okay. That's good enough. Let's see if it lines up a little bit on. Got to go them this way. A couple inches. Okay. It doesn't look perfect because I don't think this middle bed is perfect but we'll just get four feet all around and i'll keep you updated Whew, that's harder than i thought <laughs> moving around those empty beds it's hard work all right um so i'm done laying them out and they measure up to my satisfaction so we have a four foot door right here i'm not sure if i'm going to open that way or open outward i'll probably open inward because i'll have grass and stuff probably that would interfere with the door here um and then this is you know basically four foot this is basically four foot and i'll be able to access you know here and here before i was going to have it all closed in but my daughter corrected me so maybe i should make sure these are the same 28 inches thirty two so i gotta come this way a bit yep yeah, that's good enough uh so the irrigation the ibc totes will be lined up the first one will be about here, the edge of it, and then they'll go down that way. I'm going to have to build up or dig because I want the irrigation to come into here. And then I'll have valves that split and go that way. All right. And I'll also have a valve that goes off to this area. And, you know, who knows? I might have more plots that way. So... The problem I have, well, the problem now isn't water, obviously, but, uh, you know, the, the problem all, always is having enough water during dry spells. So, um, all right, uh, I need to fill these now, so that's the next big job. And I think I'll end this video <laughs> of putting the frames together, and you'll see uh, putting the the uh, dirt and all of the amendments and the compost in. So signing off.